Okay, this video is a quick field guide for people who are running Magic Lantern on their Canon 5D Mark III, specifically Dan's build, and we're capturing at 5.7K anamorphic. This is beautiful footage, and it's totally worth the effort. However, a lot of times it'll crash on people within five or six seconds, so I'm gonna teach you around that and how we can shoot uh, continuous. Now, if you need to learn how to install the older firmware, I got a link in the description to a video and if you need to learn how to install the firmware, there's another link in there too. So let's just get right to it. And in the future, if you need to reference this, just jump to about 40 seconds in the video. Okay, so when you first turn on your camera, uh, I want you to go in here by trashing, pressing this trash can. Just wanna make sure you're in focus here. Yeah, okay. So go ahead and know that the only tab that we're gonna work in is this movie tab nowhere else you're gonna go in and you're just gonna turn everything off now here's the kicker this is what everyone misses in order for your settings to take you have to press the menu button you see that flash that's loading it everyone misses that go back in now this is essentially a clean load okay we're gonna go on to the top here go presets anamorphic okay now press menu and wait again. It just loaded that. Press the trash can, come back in. Now we want to go raw video. Notice that it goes 1920 by 2340. The anamorphic aspect of that is that we're squishing this inward and one pixel can represent three, so to speak and just don't worry it looks very very sharp bit depth go to 12. ratio do not touch this if you touch this in this menu it will break everything you'll record for only a few seconds leave it in the movie menu okay movie menu no ratio off you can turn on your sound recording if you do want and the sd overclock i've had mixed results it's up to you i would just try without first and see how fast your cards right so that's it for now. So anamorphic, 1920 by 2030, 12 bit. And sound if you want it. Hit menu, let those settings take. Go back in. Now I want you to go up to raw video, press Q, and just make sure that this is set properly. 1920 by 2340 at the top. Aspect ratio in the raw video tab is okay to touch. In our case, we want it to be 16 by 9. And then our data format is 14-bit lossless. We're going to keep our, our preview uh, frozen or in real time. Okay, You can actually use any one of those. But if you do go to auto, what will happen is that it'll in engage your crop record preview. And then you're not going to be able to record continuously. And I think that's another place why people get hung up a lot. You want your, fro your frozen live view to be on. Or your real time or your framing if you do real time it's going to look black and white but it'll give you an idea of what's happening whilst it's recording but i use frozen because i get no problem i just line up the shot how i want it and then hit record um one other quick mention i just want to make is that there's no dual dual pixel autofocus on this camera so you just got to get good at aiming manually so that's set 12 bit is good ratio leave that off where are we at? Sorry, I left that. Go back into here. Card spanning you want to be on. Preferred card has nothing to do with which card writes to what. All that does is, is tell uh, the operating system which card to read first for the dance build. Just leave that off. Keep kill global draw on. Pre-record off. Record trigger off. All that is off. So that is how that needs to look. Go ahead and hit menu, menu. And now if you want to record continuously, I really have nothing to aim at because I've tight constraints of space here. But I'll try to make it so you can see the screen on this. Increase the ISO, crazy. Always shoot ISO 100 if possible because otherwise you're going to have to do lots of denoising. So let's just go ahead and hit record. You can see in the top right, hopefully. Oh shit, I'm off the screen here. If you see there, I've now passed eight seconds. I'm writing 79. 
um, megabits per second to the CF card and then 19 megabits per second to the SD card. And you can go until your heart's content. So that's with the live view frozen. You can turn that off and, and do the other preview version. And then, yeah, if you go back and hit play, you can see it's building the list, merging stuff, and then you can see what you just recorded. So that's how I do it. Thanks, guys.